Cleaning can be as bad as smoking. This is what a 2018 study claimed in its press release, and it's currently doing the rounds. So is it true? Researchers followed over 6,000 people for around 20 years, and they found that women who cleaned regularly, whether at home or professionally, experienced a much faster decline in lung function compared to women who didn't. But the study didn't say that cleaning is literally as harmful overall as smoking. There's some nuance needed here. It found that women who regularly cleaned had a rate of lung function decline that is similar to that seen in smokers over 20 years. That doesn't mean that they experience all the broader harms of smoking. We know that chronic exposure to cleaning chemicals, especially sprays and other cleaning agents, can lead to lung inflammation. They did look at different types of sprays and even so-called green cleaners were still a problem. Now before you panic, it doesn't mean that cleaning will lead to full-blown lung disease. The decline isn't severe enough to qualify as a diagnosable disease in most cases, but it is more of a warning sign that exposure can affect lungs over time and that can still lead to other consequences. Why am I focusing on women? Because men were included in the study, but the study didn't find a significant association between cleaning and lung decline among men. And no one really knows why. Also, there are some important caveats about this study. The comparison group was very small and their cleaning habits varied. There were also other factors like ventilation, lifestyle, and other exposures. So the results weren't universal. What we really need is more research. And I think it's telling that more research hasn't been done into this as the researchers called for it back in 2018. And ideally we want to understand these health impacts so that we can inform and warn people, especially women. In the meantime, next time you clean, you can take some precautions. Ventilate while cleaning by opening windows, wear gloves to avoid direct contact with chemicals, and wear a mask so that you breathe in fewer fumes. Or if you're really worried, just stick to microfiber cloths and hot soapy water. And if you're in a position to, push for more research into this area because it is desperately needed.